what's happening everybody we're back in the dark late night after a workout after work and uh, i wanted to come on and record something that honestly i've kind of been trying to record for probably about the past month it's just that every time i go to record this video uh, i just feel like it gets too complainy and then i just stop talking i'm like nah i'm not gonna upload that so i'm gonna try again um and last weekend was our son uh, our son's fourth birthday and that was pretty nice to see pictures from his fourth birthday last weekend versus his third birthday a year ago just pictures of myself with him it's nice to see changes that i can visually see in a picture because recently for about the past month i've just been feeling kind of meh um things have kind of started to stagnate and what i mean by that is my plan throughout these past 10 or so months of losing weight um i i just wanted to not track calories i didn't really want to do any crazy amounts of cardio i just wanted to get into the gym lift weights and try to be more mindful of the food that i'm eating but for the past month the number on the scale has just not moved and obviously i know I probably need to start doing more cardio. I need to maybe start tracking calories. And I've just been kind of, I don't know how else to say it, not wanting to do that. <laughs> and the, the number on the scale has definitely been getting to me because it's been like the same, you know, within the two pound range for like the past month and it just won't go down. And then I'm also like, man, you know, I got, I, I work a full-time job, I come home, I take care of the kids, I'm able to get into the gym at least four times a week, which feels good, and then Maria and I, we go on walks around the block probably like twice a week, we go on walks the days that we're both not going to the gym or something like that, we go walk around the block, a little bit of cardio, and I, I mean, honestly, I couldn't even really call it cardio, because we're just walking the dogs around the block, maybe, maybe about a couple miles, if that, probably not, I don't know, um, and I'm just kind of thinking to myself, okay, like if I'm starting to not see the scale go down, is it time to start increasing cardio? Is it time to start tracking these calories that I'm eating? And obviously I, I, I feel like definitely over the past month, I probably could have made better food decisions here and there. Um, you know, especially like around Christmas time and around, you know, just all the different new years and stuff like we, we, we celebrated. So there was a l abundance of food and I haven't gained any weight. I've just been like the exact same weight for about a month. So I think to myself, okay, uh, I, I guess I'll start trying to maybe just eat less but then i'm like damn i'm i'm hungry um I'm, I'm like much more hungry than usual and you've probably heard me say in many of my other videos if you're looking to lose weight at some point you're you're gonna be hungry it's just something you gotta put up with uh you you can do things to avoid hunger which makes people more successful at losing weight like eating more voluminous foods increasing the amount of vegetables that you eat and increasing the amount of lean proteins and stuff like that to make yourself feel fuller while not eating that much food. And I, I try to do those things. And I guess I'm just getting to the point to where I'm like, maybe it's time. So the scale and the number on the scale, I've always had quite a toxic relationship with because I've always tried to force that number to go down. So if I wasn't losing weight, I would either under eat, I would, I would increase cardio a ton just to make sure that number went down. And if once I started doing that for a prolonged period of time, I then started binge eating because I was eating far too little calories because I wanted to see that scale go down like three, four pounds a month, even when I was relatively lean. I was, I needed the weight off as, I mean, not, not a month per week, uh, three or four pounds per week, even when I was like, around 200 pounds. I still wanted to lose the weight that quickly. And it just led to a very bad relationship with food. It led to a bad relationship with eating. Um, it, it, it's just something that I struggled with for, for quite a long time. This was, by the way, I'm talking many, many years ago that, that this was happening. So now, after I've had the goal of losing one pound a week to take this weight loss slow, to change my life, to get back into good habits, to not do any crazy diets, not track calories, not do a crazy amount of cardio, I wanted to see how long that could take me. And it's been roughly about 10 months that I've been doing this. 
So I think my plan personally, what I think I want to do is, and I haven't weighed myself for the past three days. I was weighing myself every day for the past two weeks. And then it started to really get to me that the number wasn't going down. So I was like, okay, taking a break from the scale because it's starting to piss me off. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm going to take a little break from the scale. So I think what I want to do is not weigh myself until the end of February. And then at the end of February, I will go ahead, weigh myself. And if I am still around the same weight, fine. I give up time to increase cardio, time to maybe start tracking calories, time to really change something other than what I've been doing for the past 10 months. Uh, It is inevitable. I've said this in other videos. It is inevitable. You have to change up what you do while you're losing weight. You can't do the exact same thing for a long period of time and expect to lose the same amount of weight throughout that long period of time. You have to change things up. You have to not change things up in that sense. You have to probably eat less or do more cardio so that you your body burns more calories so that your body can continue to lose weight. A lot of people talk about weight loss plateaus. Technically, you could consider this a plateau, but I also know that there's not really a such thing. You simply have to expend more calories so that you continue to lose weight. You know, if if you're stuck at a certain weight, increase the amount of cardio you're doing, decrease the amount of food you're eating, you will lose more weight, but that is easier said than done. That is what I am struggling with right now because simply put, I, I just wasn't ready yet. I just wasn't ready to start really implementing cardio and I just wasn't ready to really start tracking calories. And honestly, my mind still may not be ready. So I wanted to give it a month. You know, I'm going to keep doing what I've been doing for another month because I'm, I'm in no rush. I'm in, I have no deadline to lose this weight. I have been enjoying the gym. I have been getting stronger every month. And that's another thing that I've been thinking. You know, my squat has been straight up horrible for the first eight months of, of losing this weight. My form felt awkward. The amount of weight I could lift was nowhere near the amount of weight I used to be able to lift. Everything just felt weird and off. And only within this past month to month and a half, my squat has finally started to feel good. I am lifting a good amount of weight. Uh, Tonight, I just did leg day and I just did, uh, I think it's 295 pounds, which is nowhere near what I used to squat still but much more than what I was doing within the first eight months. Within the first eight months, I was struggling to squat two plates. And uh, even I was struggling to squat 185. And I think a lot of that was just due to, of course, losing a lot of muscle in my legs, but mainly losing a lot of muscle in my core or losing my core stability that I once used to have. And finally, my core feels good. I feel more solid. I feel like I can lift heavier weight without risking injury. My back doesn't hurt when I squat, all that kind of good stuff. So I was thinking to myself, hey, maybe I'm not, you know, maybe I'm gaining muscle throughout this past four months, but I'm also like, I can't be gaining that much muscle to where the scale's not moving. I don't know. I don't know. I definitely feel like my food choices could have been better the past four months. Absolutely. Uh, So maybe if I just really hunker down, try to make as best food decisions as I can, maybe I can just keep doing what I've been doing and see how it goes. But if not, I will weigh myself at the end of February and make changes if changes have to be made. Uh, I just, uh, I don't know. I was, I, I, I've, I feel nervous, I guess. I feel nervous that, uh, I mean, honestly, like this is so weird to say. I've never really expressed this sort of mind arguments. I, I'm at a loss for words for what I can call that a mental battle. That's better. Mental battle with myself. I feel not as confident as I used to in my weight loss abilities. And what I mean by that is I feel maybe less overall motivated than I used to feel to where it's more difficult to want to go into the gym to do just cardio or even to go around the block to do cardio, ride a bike, whatever, increase cardio in some sort of way. 
definitely less motivated than I used to be. I used to just go to the gym and go on the Stairmaster for like 30 minutes and just burn five, 600 calories and then be totally okay with that. Now I'm like, damn, that sounds like uh, something I don't want to do right now, which I, I don't want to express. I, and, and maybe that's why I've been having trouble uploading this video because I don't want to express to you guys the wrong message. But I also want to show you that if you are struggling with doing this whole weight loss thing, that it's normal. It's it's normal to not want to go do cardio, um, even though you know it's good for you. I know it would be very good for my heart, for my health to get in there, sweat, breathe hard, breathe heavy, release endorphins. I know it will be good for myself, but it's still difficult to do, <laughs> you know, but at least, again, I'm feeling good about the progress I've made within this past 10 months. I'm feeling good, really good about the my progress in the gym and the amount of weight that I've been lifting. Um, and I and I guess I'm just nervous. I'm, I'm just nervous about having to make changes that I haven't had to make in the past 10 months, haven't had to make in the past 10 months. Uh, just feeling kind of conflicted and trying to overcome those thoughts of inadequacies or those thoughts of, can I do it? Because, I mean, I know I can do it. I know I can keep losing this weight. I just have to keep fighting my, my, my mental, my mental battles. Um, and I, and you know, that's another, again, I've just really struggled with talking to the, to you all about this because I don't want you to think that I can't do it. I just really wanted to, con oh, I really wanted this time around on YouTube, I wanted to really share struggles without just complaining or just saying, I, I don't want to do cardio because that's not what I'm trying to say. I'm just trying to say that this is, this gets tough, especially uh, losing weight slowly. I feel like the prolonging of this weight loss is just more opportunity to feel unmotivated sometimes. I have not missed a g day in the gym that I've told myself I was gonna go. I haven't missed a day since I started this. That feels good because three years ago when I stopped going to the gym, that was probably my biggest mistake. Even though I was in a, in a super depressive state, I was having horrible thoughts I wish I would have just kept going to the gym no matter no matter how bad the workout was. I wish I would have just kept going and 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 just did my best to do any sort of exercise because I, I feel like that was the turning point to really start to gain weight is as soon as I stopped, I just stopped going to the gym. I stopped leaving the house. You guys saw when I when I first started uploading videos again, I had my head shaved because I didn't even want to go to the barber. I didn't, even, I didn't even want to go get a haircut. So I just shaved my head because I didn't want to leave the house. I didn't want to talk to people. I didn't want to do anything. So, yeah, I, I don't know. I guess I, I don't really know where I was going with this video. And I help, I help it. I hope it made sense. I guess I'm just trying to say that I'm going to not weigh myself until the end of February just to reduce that stress of maybe seeing the same number while at the same time doing my best to make the best food decisions, continuing to go to the gym as I have been, continuing to try to get stronger. And then we'll see where I'm at at the, at the end of February. And then uh, make changes if changes have to be made. So uh, I don't, you know, usually I say, I hope this video helps somebody. I don't know if this video helps somebody. Uh, I, I have probably recorded something like this probably five times now. I've sat here, talked to the camera for probably over an hour worth of this conversation. I've just never uploaded it because I, I, I always try to upload videos that I feel can help. So if it does help, seeing someone else struggle, let me know. Um, because if, if this sort of thing doesn't, kind of 
do what I hope it can do, then uh, we will stick to the non complainy videos. Uh, anyways, I will see you in the next video. Peace.